Well, here's the thing. A lot of people say, well, why don't you just sub out the parts or why don't you sub out the, the, the company, you know, to, you know, part of the guns to some other company or whatever. Well, we're 100% American made. Um, we don't want to be sending parts out, you know, here, there and everywhere and kind of lose track of our focus and our goal and everything. Um, we don't owe anyone any money. We're a privately owned company. So we just want to keep it a family business and at the same time produce quality products for you know, for, and unique products for the, for the end user, for our customers. The CMR30 is going to be a huge hit. It, there's already a lot of demand on that. We introduced that actually a few years ago at SHOT Show. Then the whole band thing happened and we had to put it on the back burner because, you know, if people say this, I'll bring this up as well, you know, like, why don't you just grow? You know, why don't you just like hire a bunch of people? Well, what happens is the same thing happened with the AR market. It's a perfect example. There was a huge demand on all this stuff and everybody just started making millions and millions of parts. And now the bubble burst and everyone's sitting on all this stuff and they're actually losing money. And I would imagine some companies are probably, you know, if they haven't gone under, they may. And it's very unfortunate. Um, so you can't, you can't outgrow your demand, but you have no idea when your demand's going to stop or, or if it's going to drop off, you know. So fortunately for us, we haven't had a problem with, you know, you know, people stopping to, you know, uh, you know, they stop looking for our guns, so the demand is still there. And so we have to grow with that demand and kind of take baby steps uh, to get to a place where we're not, you know, outgrowing, but we still got people interested in the firearms. So, yeah, 2015 is going to be busy with the CMR30, and then the RDB that's coming out is going to be a really big hit. The M43 is, uh, although it is the same internal parts on the gun, um, we've really just been tackling the RDB because the demand on that is already crazy. The M43, which is a, for those of you not familiar, it's, it's a wooden stock. Um, it's an all metal receiver and a wood, it's, it's got a wooden furniture on it. And you'll have like a massive variety of woods that you can uh, put on that gun. The company that we buy the wood from, they make just about everything. So we're thinking that's probably going to be custom to order. Um, we've also got different barrel links we're talking about doing for the M43 as well. Um, so that, that's something that's uh, still a little bit of an ongoing process as far as getting that gun down and getting it ready for, uh, for the market. PMR 30s, as it turns out, they're super tough and it's 30 rounds of 22 Magnum in a flush fit magazine. I mean, it's an awesome, awesome design. Great gun. I can say with 99.9% .9 confidence that the, um, there's going to be a new version of the Sub 2000 that we're going to put out. So, and I know those have been really hard to find again, it's a really tough uh, tough demand on that gun too, so we're, we're going to start putting a little more focus uh, into the Sub 2000 series guns as well. But that's got a whole new design. I can't wait for you guys to see this thing. It's awesome.